Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about my uh, Nerf regulator mod, my brushless 2205 modification for my regulator. This is free download for everyone. Uh, tips would be appreciated. Don't forget I have a Facebook page. I always forget about that. It's actually quite busy with a number of people making various mods and talking about things. So jump on that. So it does not require any shell modifications internally or externally so it can be full on stealth now that's what i'm trying to uh, show you here just don't worry about the guts hanging out here so let's try and take it apart okay that is the the cage without screws obviously uh, you'd normally put the screws on, it's not going to work too well without the screws, but, you know, whatever. We don't need screws, we're awesome. Imagine how long that battle would last. Whoa, <laughs> yes. Okay. So that is the, uh, the cage we have there. I'll just take it out. Uh, now this actual cage is roughed, so I'd normally do this in a higher quality for the final print. Uh, the wheels are good, but it's just a rough. So this is called a Gen 2 cage, even though there was no Gen 1, but it's essentially for uh, an improvement on my original uh, Strife, Rapid Strike, Raven cages with improvements. Yes, I know there is a hole. I, I chopped it off for, for a reason, but no, it doesn't have a gap for this currently on my Thingiverse page. So, major improvements over Gen 1 and Gen 2 is one of the big problems people had is the fact that there was a bit of movement. Well, not a bit, obviously I don't have any screws in here. When you put the screws on here, the tiny little screws through there, You've effectively got four screws and to prevent the wheels from moving away as you put the dart through the, the, the wheel wants to move away it's just obviously half of the side of each of the four screws uh, which meant that these holes got slightly bigger or there was a bit of movement so I have made these screws intentionally screw holes intentionally smaller so they could be kind of tough to put through but that's intentional to help now it's important you do remember to put thread lock on these anyway but still you only have a relatively small surface area preventing the motor from flexing away so in the gen 2's I have actually reduced the size of this and actually made that a structural part so the motors now if i can do it here we go actually fit into this okay so that means any kind of deflection away well it means you don't even have to have screws of course but well, i would suggest you put the screws in but the deflection away from the dart or it kind of the movement this way as the dart goes through and this way is now not entirely related onto the very small surface area of the side of the screws and you also need to remember that the screw has which will be impossible to show on this picture has a thread so you are talking about actually an incredibly small surface area because that's the the thread that's actually touching the plastic and of course that is sharp so it really does loosen up but now the that force is supposed to be all carried by the outside of the cage which is pretty cool now that has meant that i've had to put a, a recess on the inside of the wheels but that is fine now one of the other problems that people have is actually how on earth you do put these wheels on and do them up and if we're lucky we'll have that problem if you chuck the screw on there you can't actually do this up because oh 
well there we go just because on tv it, it worked i think it, I think it happened this one here oh yeah this one the i can't actually do up this nut as you can see it's just right the motor is rotating inside of the no oh, actually that's a black one so i'm making it looser anyway uh the motor is rotating inside of the wheel and there's no way to hold the wheel because you can only hold the bottom you can't actually hold what is the black so what i've done is i've made these vent holes well, i've completely redesigned those and the idea is that you can rotate this and you're supposed to be able to stick a few screws or something down there m3 screws uh, now i need to figure out which way around this goes and see they have now locked and i can now do up the screws i think no wrong way jolly counterclockwise screws oh now on the topic of that we have quite a lot of people saying you don't need to care about what motors you get doesn't make a difference you can just change the wiring that's correct except for for these bolts which is where it is important if you just buy two clockwise motors then this one side which will be this side will actually start coming loose whereas if you buy the correct one then the torque on the motor and yada 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 will actually continue to do up the bolt and it shouldn't come loose that's why uh, it's like that on propellers which of course what these are for um, they will continue to do up instead of some of them coming loose so there you go stick some three mil screws down there then do them up and even if you can do them up like this one without having to stick screws down it it's very important that you put the vent holes in the right place so make sure you do at least line, align that up obviously you've got these vent holes in it they need to line up with the vent holes in there well maybe it's easier to see it like that All right otherwise they're not going to work very well. well I mean there still will be some space but it won't work very well okay the other thing we have is we've moved the wiring to the bottom and I'm going to do that on all the, the strife ones as well this is gen 1 so it's not uh, we had this going through this crazy hole and around the corner that meant I lost a lot of strength by having to put that hole there so you can the idea is that you can at least fit the EECs in the bottom of here so they go through the bottom chuck the EECs there and the regulator has plenty of space to put other random bits of plastic <laughs> uh, so you can put your other electronics somewhere else you might be able to get the Arduino in there I can't decide you probably theoretically can I haven't actually tried it now when it comes to performance the regulator is going to be the new standard it's going to be do you have your regulator or do you have something else and the main reason for that is because the regulator can fit truly massive wheels heaps bigger than the stock wheels here is the stock wheels mmm tiny can fit massive wheels in the regulator that's because I've removed the cantering oh, that's a good point I've removed the cantering and the good thing about the canted cage is that it forces Hasbro to have these mounting brackets quite far apart because of course they need to be able to fit the wheel on an angle which is a greater distance depending on what angle uh, than if just directly down so that has enabled us and they've been so nice in the regulator to give us enough space to fit these mammoth wheels in there oops bigger than any other nerf gun nerf gun bigger than you can get in the strife so this should be 
mega awesome, especially at rapid firing with a bigger diameter, which makes it a bit easier to crush the wheels. So that is the new regulator mod, and I do believe this will be the beast once it's fully operational and going. Thanks to the, the fact you can do automatic and semi-fire and all that stuff, although I will be replacing all of this because I destroyed it. Uh, and it's got these massive wheels. Oh uh, yeah, the other good thing about the regulator is it's got a really short barrel. So the longer the barrel, the worse life is. So it's got a really short barrel, especially if we... Well, I suppose you don't, the barrel inside barrel does stop. It's got such a short barrel. It's really good for FPS and accuracy from these. Obviously high concavity. I'm just rambling about nothing now, aren't I? All right, guys, hopefully you've liked this. We will continue. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to do Gen 2 of these, probably within a week of this video coming out. We'll, we'll have actually already done that. I'm going to say it again. Make sure you put Threadlock on the screws. All right, guys, pop us a like, subscribe if you haven't. If you don't want to subscribe, don't. If you do, do. And we shall see you on the next one. I can't believe how much time I've been putting into making these cages and refining this but it is completely mega awesome it's the haves and the have nots now between the people that have gone brushless 2205s made by me and the people that are going to lose so join the winner's circle there's no reason not to thanks guys bye